Wait, go watch his name. <laughs> Are you two ready for your big interview? Yes. Who wants to answer the first question? Me. Callie, are you ready? Yeah. If you had one wish, you could wish for anything in the whole entire world, what would you wish for? Uh, Taco Bell. A thousand, lips, a thousand lipstick. What about you, Carter? Wait, what the heck are you doing? Car Carter, if you had one wish, what would you wish for? Well... I wish for it. I can actually really, really, really have a. Um, I'm thinking. Is she get over there? I think I wish for like you know, for every day whenever we get off of school, we like every day we can go to the aquarium. Like Kelly, we go to the aquarium every day. Like like really, I'm like yes. What do you love about the aquarium? Well, I like to have the aquarium, the sandbox, because and whenever we do belly hop in the sandbox, we had it to get out. What is it like to be Callie and Carter's mom? Um, rewarding. It's really rewarding to be Callie and Carter's mom. Just seeing them grow and become little girls and stop it. watching their I connection stop between it. them is really nice. What's it like to always have someone to be funny and silly with? I like, Kelly, put your hands like this. I'm like, okay. And I grab him. And I grab me. Do you like holding hands together? Yeah. <laughs> They're always playing around. <laughs> <laughs> They'll like groom each other too. Like play with each other's hair and like <laughs> clean each other up. Would you say that Carter is your best friend, Callie? Yeah. Hey, stop it. When were they first diagnosed? They were first diagnosed at eight weeks, three days. Uh, when I was pregnant with them, eight weeks, three days, that is. Um, I remember it was July 15th, 2016, and they walked into the room and said, your kids are stuck together, and I really don't remember anything the rest of the week after that. It was very emotional. I didn't know what to think. So I don't remember much of the first part of being pregnant because I was just in so much shock. I'm going to get away. You're going to get away? <laughs> Do they like to run around? Yeah, they'll run around. Can you talk about the way they get around? Yeah, so... Yeah. Is what they're doing now typical? Yeah, Callie and Carter get around just like that. They run around uh, on their hands and their legs, and then sometimes they will walk as well. So their anatomy is like two waves that like have crashed together. So they don't share a heart, they don't share stomachs. Um, Callie's is in the right place, Carter's is towards her back area. Is it easy for you two to walk? Not easy. It's not easy? No, no. Yes, they each control one leg, so this side is all Callie's. It's like split in the middle. This side's all Callie's, this side's all Carter's, and so this one is Carter's leg, and the other one is Callie's leg. You like to crawl better than walking? Yeah. Is crawling easier? We get over here. We get over the boy. Go on, feel the feet. You two are very strong. When they go ther to therapy, do the therapists teach them how to work in unison? Yes, so the therapists, um, they go to therapy three times a week and they do their uh, speech, occupational, and physical, but they teach them how to like, you know, walk around. Show me how fast you can crawl. When do they start doing this? Uh, maybe a year and a half. <laughs> Their spine comes really close. It goes like this, so it, it waves together. So they're wondering whenever it gets together like this, if it connects at all. And it doesn't. They're all like this much apart from each other. So they play around and have fun all over the house? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get it. Yeah, they're typical kids. They just play and there's an uh, untypical situation. Chuggy, Chuggy, Chee! Wait, after you 
they all twins, but one day whenever we went to school, guess what? One person named us a spider. Someone called you a spider at school. Yeah, and Miss Cody, and Miss Cody went over there and said, "Are you a, are them a spider? Them like?" And he said, "Yeah." Or oh, um, not? No, you're not spiders. You're Callie and Carter. They have two legs. And spiders have like eight. But yep, spiders have eight legs. How did you feel when that happened? Well, I feel I'm kind of sad. And Callie feel like kind of. I kind of feel like this kind of a little bit of angry. Did you feel angry, Callie? Yeah. What does it, it got, feel like to feel angry? It got angry and like I was like a little angry and I was going and I was gonna trick him like I'm this me I do when I'm starting to fight like oh no other one. And guess what? Today, before you guys come, there was a spider up the roof. Is it okay if I sit beside you two and we become good friends? Yes. Yeah. Are you ready to be friends? Mm-hmm. Woohoo! Friends! Carter, if somebody wants to be your friend, what should they do? Like, hey, Kelly, you want to play some games with me? And sometimes he say no, and sometimes he say yeah, and sometimes he say maybe. You, get, you like to play games? Yeah, but not Callie and also we play Mario Party. I'm like, do you want to be Luigi or Mario? He's like, Mario and I'm like, well, you want me to be Luigi. I become Mario and Luigi as best friend and one best friend. And we found a roly poly and we're like, Mommy, can we name him Sticky? And he's like, yeah. And we're like, Mommy, just don't kill any of the roly polies. I become one of them was our roly polies, but we didn't remember which one was it. Bugs are so creepy and crawly. What I have a question it? for your mom real quick now, and then you can tell me more about the bugs. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. If you were to introduce your daughters to the world, what would you say? Um, this one's Carter. This one's Callie. <laughs> and then this is how they were born. This is them. It's their Callie Bye. and Carter. What's the best thing about being sisters? Well... She the most this my favorite was candy milk. Where's the candy milk? Funny. Yeah. But you always call me candy bell and you call me candy bell. Mm. And I call you candy bell and me call you candy bell. That's the um, best thing about being sisters, having cool nicknames? Yeah. Callie and Carter are partially deaf. Carter is um, fully deaf in one of her ears. Callie's partially deaf in the other ears, and their inner ears actually the ones that they're close to each other. Um, so they get speech therapy. That's why they kind of talk little babyish a little bit, but it's all in good fun. How do you feel when you sit by your mom? Uh, uh, kind of happy because I really like my mom instead of my dad because our dad tells everything what to do before mom comes home. Like, Clean the leafy room, or like do the dishes with Dad or Jason. Your dad makes you do chores. Yes. One day we were sick, and guess what? Dad still make us do chores, but we didn't do the, but we didn't do chores because we were sick. We were sitting right here just playing video games. What did you think when your dad said, "Do chores"? And dad, and dad's like, why well, because I'm not doing chores when like, I become, I become like sick and dad just let us just sit right there and he gave us both of the controller and we just started playing it. And Mike's like, and Mike is like, daddy, I'm sick, but he wasn't, he was lying. Tell me about your daughters. <laughs> um, this here is Callie and Carter. <laughs> Callie and Carter are my conjoined twins. Yeah. Callie is my... More girly girl, princessy type girl. Carter is one of the boys. She likes to get rough and tumble. She likes to play more physical. Quit picking on her. Stop it. And they're just little goofballs. What was it like when you found out while you were pregnant that they were conjoined? Oh, I don't even remember. I was in so much shock. Like, I had no idea um, that this could even, like, I knew it could happen because like I watched movies and like it pops up like Grey's Anatomy and whatnot, but I never thought that would happen to me. 
So it was just the initial shock of, oh, I have my baby stuck together. Oh, they're also going to die. And oh, I have to have a miscarriage. So, or I have to have an abortion because they're really pushing abortion too. So I didn't know, you know, which way to go. Um, I was very lost. I believe I was lost my whole pregnancy. What made you decide to have them? Um, you know, I read a book and it was this book about people who were um, aborting their kids just because they had Down syndrome. And I read this book and it was a horrible book. I hated it. The doctors gave it to me. And every day I woke up, I had to be like, I'm going to get an abortion. I had to talk myself into getting an abortion every single day I woke up. And the next morning I'd wake up and I'd be like, I'm having the kids, but wait, I need to have an abortion. So my mom was like, you have to talk yourself into it every single day. Just don't do it. Just don't. So I never did it. I just said no. If you could go back in time and give yourself a piece of advice during that time period, what would you say? Oh, it's going to work out. It's going to work out the way it's supposed to. Whenever we get cupcakes and cake, this one, get this lick off the frosting. Like my frosting and Callie's frosting. So he just ate the cream and I ate the cake. Callie ate the cream and I ate the cake. Callie ate all my biscotti too. <laughs> and I'm like, Callie, what's the biscotti? I'm like, what the crap? You ate it? <laughs> she ate all your spaghetti? Yeah. I'm like, oh, because it was good. Oh, Callie, I noticed that you're holding makeup. Do you love makeup? Yeah. Every time, whenever, every time, whenever, I'm like, and Callie says sleep, I just like, I grab, I grab it really loud, put it up here really high. Callie, he's like, where's my lipstick? Where's my lipstick? I'm like, well, I'm right here. You like the pranker? Yeah. I like the prank way too, but like I got your dog and I prank went on my celebrity, but I don't, I mean like give me back my dog and I'm like call it fake, it's just my sob. And I have like a, a rainbow toy, it's got them over there in the back. Did you just say you got a rainbow toy? That is so cool. It kind of looks like half Oh, with a, like a unicorn thing sticking out like a unicorn horn. That is a really cool toy. I'm Carter. Over there in the Callie told me about her cool rainbow toy. Do you have any cool toys? Yeah, and I got a ball like where there's oil beads inside and we can squish it. That yeah, sounds like. And I try and I, and I had a thing they all, so I took get off and squish it. It gets what? Jesus squished it really hard and fast and it broke. It got go really sad. Yeah, so I like to throw away it. When you feel sad, does Callie ever help you? Well, Callie do help me. Like, so one day, uh, Callie actually had it the same toy, but. Mine got broken, so Callie gives horse to me. <laughs> you guys are just being too crazy. Pikachu. Are they just making Pokemon sounds? Pikachu. One saying Pikachu and the other one saying Pikachu. Pikachu. So they can play like normal kids. They can jump around and be thrown and whatnot. Oh yeah, I, I've only ever treated them like they were normal. Kelly. Yeah. What do you want to be when you're an adult? A a mom. Carter, what do you want to be when you're an adult? I want to be actually on the on the vet because I want to. Because I want to know an alligator because I never saw an alligator yet. That would be really cool to see an alligator. Yeah, but I never saw an alligator yet. I want to see an alligator. How do you think you would feel if you saw an alligator? I never be kind of happy. I'd be scared. <laughs> I'd be scared. <laughs> but today I tell Connor and I really wanted to be. Chuggy Teen. How are they with their younger brother? <laughs> they fight with Mike a lot, um, but it's just because they get to go to school and he's bored at home all day. So when they get home, he's extra hyper and they want nothing to do with it. They want to sit down and relax. But 
they play great. They'll <laughs> take the time out of their day to make sure that he's having fun. You know, if they haven't seen him in a while, they'll come up and check on him just to make sure. I don't, I don't remember Pikachu's being climbing Pokemon. Pika! Oh. What are you doing? What the heck? Like, Kelly, tell me about your brother. My brother's the ruler baby the whole world can remember. I'm trying to see what my guys do. He always came out smacking me. Like this, no, 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 no. Wait, do we take the whole vlog? Yeah. What happened? Sometimes he needs help. Sometimes my gun helps the week so much like what happened like bleh. you just need protection like bleh. So some twins can be separated. Um ones that are by the heart can be separated if there's two hearts. Um Callie and Carter can be separated. They have viable organs and you know they just kind of share a, a body is the thing. That's the whole reason why we kinda of didn't get separation surgery was because they share a body. It's even if you cut them in half they're not going to be a full body and there's going to be a lot of prosthetics involved there's going to be like g tubes involved like well, no um there's only one bladder we don't know how that's going to work there's only one bottom half like i don't know how they're going to split that up it's really confusing so we just decided not to go through with it and then the doctors told us not to go through with it as well it was their recommendation not to go through with it so we just never did what is it like to be sisters uh, kind of, kind of like really hard because my boys sometimes, sometimes we want to go to the same way, sometimes we don't. Well, sometimes we actually want to do different things. I'm like, yeah, what do you want to do? He's like, oh, he's like, I want to play with my dolls. And I'm like, and I'm like I want to play games. But on the television, I'm like, hmm, wait, I think I know. A great idea. How about Kelly grab some Barbies? How about we go right here and I can play on the tension because you play Barbies. And Kelly's like, great idea. I'm like, and Kelly got one so we saw it. I'm like, because I do like to play with toys too. Well, that's cool that you two talk together and you make plans and you uh, figure out how to each do the thing that you like. I think that's amazing. But you know we can like, you know we can like stand my heel. I'm looking at the camera. Boing. Dad likes to jump a lot. You like to jump a lot? Jump. Yeah. <laughs> we, actually, we actually learned on my feet that time. Boing. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kelly, I have a question for you. Yeah. What is something that makes you happy? <coughs> uh, going on a birthday party. What's your favorite thing about birthday parties? Well, uh, Kelly? doing the cake. How much does the medical field know about conjoined twins? I don't feel the medical field knows a lot about conjoined twins because whenever I would ask questions, they'd be like, I'm not sure, um, let's just have an abortion. I'm not sure you're gonna have a miscarriage. So they don't really know anything. And I don't think the science that I told you, you know, they don't 100% know, that's just their guess. So the anatomy of every set of conjoined twins it could be completely different. Yes, so my husband said something a couple of years ago that really stuck with me. And he says that every conjoined twin is a snowflake. And so he's like, what's gonna happen? Because I would, you know, look at other people's conjoined twins and they would pass and everything. And so he's like, they're like a snowflake. Our daughters are not the same as their daughters. Our daughters are not the same as their son. And it really is true. They're like snowflakes. They're all completely different. I don't think any conjoined twin has the exact same anatomy as the other one. What do you love most about your mom? Well, I love about my mom whenever I like hugging and she just give me kisses and I like it. What about you, Callie? What do you love most about your mom? Uh, cooking me my favorite one, <coughs> just Kelly. So I just want for them, when they get old enough, to understand that what even if people treat them differently, 
they can still get through life with just each other as support. They don't, you don't always need a thousand friends, you just need the right two. And it can make your whole life different. If somebody is meeting Carter and Callie for the first time, what should they do? What should they say? Just say hello. I mean, they're normal six year olds, they're just stuck together. Um, they're gonna treat you how you treat them. They've, been, they've, they've definitely showed us that they will do that. Yes, <laughs> you, make, you guys are making this hard. And I want to tell you something about this alley. You got an alley? Yeah, I want to tell you what happened. What happened? Well, whenever I was there, when we were going on move, my, my, I was starting to close the door, but Bonesy scratched me right here. Your cat? And I, yeah, and Bones and one of her nails got stuck right there. So I had to pull her out gently. And it was starting to bleed. So I tell mom, and I tell mom, and mom put a band aid on it. So I, I, I picked it, and it was stopping it. So I took the band aid off, and this is another one about school. It's this one. You got a few ouchies. 50, no, 59, 59 ouchies. I have a really important question for you two. Yeah? Yeah. Do you believe in mermaids? Wait, we saw a, well, we had to kill you today. For real, there was a real one. You saw a mermaid at the aquarium? Yeah, yeah it, was it, was, it was a real one with a real tail, a real, real tail. Did you say hi? <laughs> yeah. Say hi. They told us at the hospital when they're three days old, take them home, treat them like normal kids, and you know, go about life. So that's what we did, and so we treat them like normal children. And go about life like that. It seems to have done them well. Yeah, I think so. I think it that was fun. all of us pretty well because we were just so lost on what we wanted to do and what we were expected to do. For any person out there that has found a situation or has come across a new life adventure that they weren't prepared for or don't know about it's not the end it's never the end regardless of what it is there's always ways to alter the story or to better yourself and I think Kelly Carter are a good showing of not giving up on a story are you two having fun? Yeah. Do you love playing together? Yeah. yeah.